in your relationships, here, here's the key to a good relationship it's not the only one, but watch your person carefully, carefully, carefully and whenever they do something that you would like them to do more of tell them that that was really good and mean it, and it's not manipulative, because if it's manipulative it won't work it's like you have to say, wow, I'm so glad you did that, and you have to be precise here's what you just did that I thought was great and thought, oh boy, that's so nice that you noticed, I can't believe that you noticed it's like, you know, you do that 20 times and the person will be like the rat that's just pushing the lever for cocaine, you know so, but no, I'm serious, it's, it's, it's Skinner established this, B.F. Skinner noticed this a long time ago reward is intensely uh, useful in terms of modifying behavior, but the problem is, is that it's really hard to notice when things are going right right, because you're kind of primed to notice when things are going wrong, and so you use threat and punishment more often as agents of, of shaping the people that you're around, because, you know, when everything's going right, it's like what are you going to say? Everything's going right, it, it turns to zero, you just assume it, and that's, that's not good that's not good, you want to pay attention, and if, the, if your person, your children, your wife, your whoever, your mother, your sister if you want them to if you want to rectify your relationships with them, and I'm not saying to do this in a manipulative way, it won't work but if they do something that's promoting harmony and peace and goodwill, it's like attend to it, tell them that you noticed, it's like it's so useful, and you have to get rid of your grudges and your resentment to do that Right, because you don't want, you're kind of mad at your sister, and then you notice know, she does something good, you think, there's no goddamn way I'm going to reward her for that, so you ignore her when she does something good. It's like, that's brilliant, that is, because then you've just punished her for doing what you want. And people do that with their kids all the time, you know, because they let the kids dominate them, then they get resentful, then the kid will run up to them to show them something that's kind of spectacular, and they'll, they're not happy, they'll like, oh yeah, that's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working. You know, the little kid is all sad about that, and he's just learned something. So, and it's not perhaps what you want him to learn. And so, you have to keep your your relationship with your children pristine, and that means that you can't hold a grudge or resent them. And that means that you have to help them learn how to behave so that you like them. And that way, if they if you like them and you're kind of sensible, and maybe your partner also likes them, so you know, you got a consensus going there there's a reasonable possibility that other people will actually like them too, including other children and then the world will open up to them you know, then you'll bring them to people's houses and the people will actually smile at them and give them a pat on the head and instead of thinking, oh my god, that brat's coming to visit again, I wonder what he'll break this time you know, and that's just a horrible thing for your child to experience repetitively, in situation after situation, all they learn is that adults have a false smile, but they're really lying all the time God, it's like a bit of hell, and there's a lot of children who are trapped in that, it's really awful to see I can see kids like that when I walk down the street, you know, it's like they're little doomed things, and there they are, and you know, they're screwed in 15 different ways, and there's no way out of it, it's really awful So. I would not recommend that you do that, it's better to notice that you're a bit of a monster or a lot of a monster and notice that you are much happier with the people around you when they behave in accordance with reasonable social norms and then you actually feel genuinely connected to them and you want to work on their behalf so that everything works out but if you think you're a good person and that you'd never do anything that was harmful to your children, then you can just forget about that, because you'll never take it seriously enough to actually learn